Okay, guys. Um, Y'all seen the picture of my Eddie Van Halen tribute guitar that I'm building. And I come up with some ideas that I could pass off to you guys. Everybody out there in the world can do this. This is a Floyd Rose licensed tremolo. And normally we have Allen heads here at the back. But I noticed these online one day. And these are stainless steel. They're metric. And I thought, you know, uh, straight from the factory, you could sit there and t replace these. And just, these are used for intonation. You're still going to have to use an Allen to loosen these up. But how much easier would it be to have a knurled head right there? Now for the... Uh, Floyd Rose style, let me get the information, it'll be an M4, um, the head is 9 millimeter, knurled head, and it is a 43 millimeter length. Now what I'm talking about is the, you can see the screw, from underneath the head to right here, is where you measure and that's what I did on these and in fact I got a is it that's the inch side okay let's put this up there and take a measurement Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40. Well, it's showing right around 40. From underneath the head of that to that. So that's 40 millimeters. Okay. I'll just put that there for now. But that's for these back adjustments. What that does is adjust your intonation right there. And to me, that would, that would make it easier. Uh, so far, I haven't been able to find these. These are... Uh, fine-tuning adjusters and I'm I'm still looking to get these uh, this is stainless steel so it's not going to rust last a long time and uh, they do stick out a little bit longer but um, that to me would make it easier and here is these are line locks that are at the replace the nut that's on the neck and these, you could just use your hands to lock your line, your your strings down with. And you see, I got two of them here with these on here. Um, these, I got this idea from a um, a lady in Tennessee who posted a video, and I can't find it to give her the credit. But she's in Tennessee, and she play, um, does a lot of bar gigs and stuff and it was her idea and so I give her credit for this and uh, that's where she she gave me the idea to do other ones like this and this is a M4 stainless steel it's a thumb screw and it's eight millimeters long and I bought a bunch of them so I could have, you know, extras, and I need to buy more, um, I guess, them too. But anyhow, this uh, M4 stainless steel thumb screw, 8 millimeter long, knurled uh, head, I believe that would be uh, a 9 millimeter width on that. Okay, and my next idea... He, these are saddles, and they normally have a screw at the back, like, like that. And I thought, why not switch over to a knurled head so you can adjust them? These are used for intonation on, on uh, like a standard style Stratocaster. 
tremolo. And you can see I put one here down on the end. And so there's plenty of room, you know, for the head spacing and stuff. And, and I think that would be so much easier to set this thing up like that. So I, I replaced one to show you, you know, what the rest of them would look look like, and all. And here's the screw, what it looks like compared to the original one. Ah, won't stay in place. But anyhow, that one, and like for these standard style saddles, it is a M3. Stainless steel thumb screw, 12, mil 12 millimeter long. And that would be great, especially for setting up intonation and stuff like that. So, right there, I've got a couple of really good ideas, I think, for you guys out there. So, these are just leftover parts. And. Hoping these will help some people out. Just, just an old fender style. Doesn't even have the big block on it. That's why it's out. But I, I wanted to experiment with the adjuster nut on the back right there. But like I said, for the saddle, M3 12 millimeter thumb screw. 12 millimeter length and then right here for the line lock is an M4 thumb screws thumb screw stainless steel 8 millimeter long and then for here on the back side of the Floyd Rose style tremolo M4 uh, knurled head thumb screw style with a 40 mm don't don't go by that. That's 40 millimeter length and a 9 millimeter head. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And uh, I thought it was cool being able to make things easier. Anyhow, you guys have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next video.